I won't be here to see it. I won't be here to see it. I met a chap who's a moderate Republican recently from Ireland. non parliament one, a nationalist one. And he said in 50 years, Ireland will have, this is the Republic of Ireland, will have a non-white majority. In 50 years. It's probably 60 or 70 actually, but you know, who's counting? You know. The truth is that if they have the immigration that South London's had in 60 years, they'll be in a minority in their own country. All this IRA violence against us, all this fighting for their own independence and so on, it won't matter a damn. They'll be in a minority in their own country. What was it all for? What was it all for? But factoring it out from them to look at ourselves, more importantly, what has it been for if we become a minority in our own cities, in our own inner cities, in our own country, and what would it do to our culture, which increasingly, vast numbers of our people know nothing about? Nothing about. You know, posh and best is not English culture, or it's not what it's about. It's just a sort of irrelevance, fed by mass media. Many of our people go through school, and they are taught to partly despise what they are, and where they have come from. Anything which is cultured is harsh, is elitist, is not for us, it's against us. Sort of medium capitalist and low level trash is that all that we want or will get or are fit for. Our people do no national service. Our people know nothing about the empire. Many of our people know nothing of our great musicians and artists and writers or even prior political leaders. We face everywhere a degree of blind ignorance in who we are and what we are. Because if you want to basically break a population down, you remove the mental tear first. Because then people are adrift and are aimless and are wandering about. You will lose what you have and what you have been and what you are and what your children will be if that connection is broken down. But our people are deeply worried about that. They're deeply worried about the politics of race. If ever a BMP spokesman appears, usually with some demonic leader in the mass media, they will say, are you a racist? But it's been used now to keep you out of the debate before you even open your mouth. The truth of the position is that all groups are in favour ultimately of the power of their own kind and of their own group and of their many for manifold manifestations in culture, in art, in science, in law, in statecraft, in military power, in forms of the state, in just the building of a place to live. Each group manifests itself in order to live and in order to survive and in order to have a natural habitat and a country and a land and a language and various forms of spirituality for itself. The truth of the matter is, of course, that race is the basis of meaningful cultural and national politics. 